What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy. Do you want to see a Sylveon use Boom Burst? Because that's what we're doing today. We are going to teach this Sylveon Boom Burst, and we are going to sweep with it. Now, the story behind this team is for my Charizard team, I was actually just hunting for a Gabite so I could catch one in a Lure Ball. Because I thought Lure Ball Garchomp would be cool since Shiny Garchomp isn't cool or anything. And then I randomly find a Shiny Noivern. So I'm like, you know what? Okay, what can Noivern do? N not a whole lot, but it has Boom Burst, Telepathy, and is fast. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use Boom Burst next to Scarf Terragos Sylveon, which will be one point slower than this Noivern because that's how I've trained them. And then the Sylveon's gonna use Copycat which will copy that Boom Burst, and Pixelate will turn that into a Fairy-type 140 power spread move that also hits your partner, but that's what the Telepathy's there for. So these two Pokémon can Boom Burst and not hurt each other as long as Sylveon and Terra's. And just sweep with that. It's a super strong move. Now, to be honest, it's probably not the best strat to lock yourself into Copycat, because if Noivern goes down, you're stuck doing whatever the most recently used move was which may or may not be any good for you. But that's why we've got other stuff on here. Since we're Terra Ghost, we've got Shadow Ball for good stab. Hyper Voice is just Sylveon's standard move. Not as strong as Boom Burst by a lot, but it's still a good spammable move. And then Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam is great. And then to keep up with the theme of just super powerful moves, we've got Choice Band Head Smash Arcanine, Choice Specs Steel Beam Terra Steel Golden Go, Scale Shot Garchomp, and I think this set is really interesting. It's a really bulky Garchomp with loaded dice, so Scale Shot will hit 4 to 5 times, up to 125 power. And it's bulky so that it can set up Sword Stance, and it's got a little bit of speed, so once you Scale Shot, then you'll be faster than pretty much anything. I think I invested it to be faster than Dragapult after one Scale Shot. Uh, and then Milotic. Since this Garchomp and this Arcanine can be intimidated, and Golden Go doesn't like to see Incineroar, we've got a competitive Milotic here. It's a pretty offensive Milotic, honestly, so if you get the competitive boost, you can do big damage with Scald. But mostly it's just a deterrent, because Arcanine, Garchomp, and Golden Go don't really want to see Intimidate users, because the common Intimidate users, users are just are bad for them. Uh, but anyways, I'm super excited to Boom Burst with Sylveon, and I hope you are too. Let's go do it. Okay, here we've got, ooh, Eeveelution team, mostly. They've got Leafeon, they've got Vaporeon, they've got Flareon, they've got regular Zork, Lucario, and Dragapult. One scary thing about Dragapult is it's actually faster than Noivern Sylveon combo. So I have to be really careful about that. I don't think leading that is too bad. They go any other lead and we've got a great position. But against Dragapult, we're gonna have to do something. That something could be Terra Normal the Noivern to live a hit, go out to like Golden Go. I don't hate that. It could also be disguised. Zorok disguised as Dragapult could also be scary because then I would make a mistake. They've got two Intimidate immunities. So I don't know if it's Arcanine. Uh, if what I'm most afraid of is Dragapult, I need something for Dragapult. I guess Arcanine works against Dragapult. Like, it's not bad just because it doesn't intimidate. Chomp. Could do well, too. A few ground- a couple ground weaknesses over there. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring Garchomp here. Milotic can easily get walled out. And Arcanine seems fine, but it's got a few weaknesses, and I, I want to- I don't want to Terra the Arcanine. Okay. Sitting Lucario. Lucario is fine. Lucario is a cool Pokemon. That's a fine trainer card, I guess. Lucario Flareon lead. Okay. Noivern and Sylveon can probably do the Boom Burst thing. Let's do the Boom Burst thing. Boom Burst. Terra Ghost. Copycat. Let's go. What can go wrong here is... Um, well, Flareon's probably gonna live the combo, depending on its investment. Because it resists fairy and has decent special defense. Lucario should go down, though. Lucario has, like, E-Speed or Bullet Punch to go first. But neither of those... I mean, I guess maybe Choice Band E-Speed can take out Noivern. If they'll go like Terra Normal. 
I don't know if they're gonna do that. Uh, our Sylveon Terra is first anyway, so if they're terrestrializing, they're not Scarf. But I don't think he would Scarf a Lucario. I guess that's the scariest thing, would be Terra Normal e Choice Band E-Speed. Okay, they're not tearing, they're not E-Speeding. We just get the Boom Burst? Oh, good damage onto Flareon! Oh, there's a crit on the Flareon. Okay, that might do it. This might get it. Come on, Sylveon. Boom the burst. Okay, no, Flareon still lives, but Lucario is gone, and Flareon is not looking too great. Okay, neither of those were Azor. Ooh, Flame Charge. I wonder if that gets you faster than me. Flareon's pretty slow. Here's Dragapult. Aw, oh, it's Dragapult. Yeah, Flareon's base speed is 65, but Sylveon's is 60, so if they're max speed, they can actually outspeed. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this Dragapult is actually a Dragapult and is going to outspeed Noivern and cause problems. So I'm gonna stop doing the gimmick. if we get taken out and then Sylveon's gonna what throw a dragon darts you know that's not the worst you know what I'm gonna click it again I'm gonna click boom burst copycat and just see what happens we're faster you are an adamant dragon folder so oh no you're a Zorg <laughs> okay there was always a chance it was a Zorg <laughs> Ooh, they almost scared me into swapping in golden go that would have been bad But instead, we just spam Boom Burst until we can't spam Boom Burst no more. Awesome. Okay, now we know that thing is a Dragapult. How do we handle that? Uh, if it goes for Dragon Darts, one of them probably KOs Noivern. Let's be honest. Oh, uh, I could... Bring Golden Go into this slot here. And the most recent move used was Boom Burst. So if I copycat now, I'll get Boom Burst if I'm faster. If I'm slower, I'll get whatever Dragapult used, which could be a Ghost move or a Dragon move, which will still hit pretty hard. So I'm happy to do that. Golden Go's just coming in to take the Dragon Darts if it is a Dragon Darts. Or a Draco Meteor, or whatever. Uh, Terrastalizing, okay. Is it defensive or offensive? Terra Normal. Defensive. Okay. What you got? Ooh, you're going second. I'm faster. Yes! Let's boom burst! Haha. <laughs> Not much damage to Golden Go, thankfully. And they just shadow ball. Okay, now I'm stuck, because I can't copycat. But I can win this game, because we now know Sylveon's faster. So we're good to just click Steel Beam over here. Swap Sylveon out. As long as Sylveon comes back in safely, we can click Hyper Voice later and win the game. Uh, Noivern is also faster and can click Boom Burst. Uh, I'll bring in Garchomp then. And I'm just going to click Steel Beam to click Steel Beam. No reason. There's really no reason to click Steel Beam. I just think it's funny. Dragon Darts, Garchomp. Eats really well. They're a mixed Dragapult. Makes sense. Here we go! Boom! <laughs> Great move. Okay. Well, GG. That was fun. <laughs> Sylveon just clicking Boom Burst! Outspeeding Dragapult! Let's go! Oh, hi there, Mr. Kurtastic. Didn't know you were playing right now. Uh, Mr. Kurtastic has seen this team. If this is, in fact, Mr. Kurtastic. Uh, <laughs> so this is gonna be a tough match. Uh, I don't know this team, but it's got a cool core of Rillaboom, Volcarona, Water Tauros. Uh, along with Glamora, Golden Go, and Murkrow. So they're gonna go Tailwind stuff with Golden Go. Oh, yep, just got a message from Mr. Kurtastic. It is him. Alright. Well, 
I got a gimmick team, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> try pretty hard. Uh, if they go Tailwind plus Golden Go, Noivern and Sylveon does not work. In fact, I think that's their best way through me, is with Murkrow Tailwind. So, to answer Murkrow Tailwind, I could lead my own Golden Go. Terra Steel shenanigans, blow something up. And to answer Volcarona, Arcanine. That's a solid lead. Having my Lodic as a defensive tool is nice, because I'm not really too worried about guard uh, about uh, Rillaboom. And then I have my Garchomp. Yeah, I'm gonna play a defensive slow game because they've got speed on me. Just need to be careful not to let Glamora get everything poisoned. That's a good that's a good solid team they got there. Very well balanced, very scary. And I'm playing a gimmick. Oh, yep, there, that, that's a good card. Alright. Okay. Murkrow, Lamora. Well, I feel like making it rain, and so that is what I will do. However, Arcanine does not want to get Meteor Beamed. They do have some swap-ins to make it rain. Uh, should I Terrastalize Golden Go here? Steel Terra Specs make it rain probably takes Murkrow. I don't think I need to save it for Garchomp. I might want to save Terra for Arcanine, though. No, it'll probably be fine. Steel Terra, make it rain. I gotta go fast and go now. Alright, swapping in Garchomp. Yes, yeah, so, because this would have messed up the, the Boom Burst play. Because they could just Tailwind and then KO Noivern. Alright, here's my Terra. Uh, Glamora and Golden Go have similar speed stats, so if they're terrestrializing, who knows. Could just be a protect from Glamora, so I drop my special attack. Okay, here's their Terra. Into grass, that's not gonna save you. At least you're not weak to make it rain anymore. I mean, maybe for Assault Vest. I don't know what this set is. I I'm, not, I'm not looking it up. I don't know if he's posted this team. Okay, it is a Meteor Beam set. So you're not Assault Vest, you're not Focus Sash. You're Power Herb. So this make it rain is gonna hurt. Alright. That's a great turn one for me. This is a very bulky guard champ, so this shouldn't hurt too bad. Whew, no, that hurt a lot, right? <laughs> okay, Glamora, you're insane. But you're gone. Good. Okay. I got two KOs, but they got Tailwind. They got out my Terra. They got my Garchomp to half and my Golden Go to minus one. It's anyone's game. They've, they've got the momentum, but I've got the lead. Whew. Uh, I could bring an Arcanine for an Intimidate. I think they probably have some physical attackers left. If it's Volcarona, it can no longer Terra away from Rock Slide, which is good. Uh, it's their own Golden Go. That's cool. And Watoros. Ah! Okay, so Arcanine's not that useful, actually. My lot, it comes in mostly for free. Then what does Garchomp even do? I could scale shot to get faster eventually. Uh, I should just protect, stall out some Tailwind. Yeah, I'll bring in my Lotic and just protect for now. Because then I can. The Tauros might just be. Clear Amulet. 
if I can intimidate it down, then I'm pretty sure Go Golden Go can take the close combat. Which is what they are going for. Ooh, Milotic took half. Maybe Golden Go can't take that <laughs> after an Intimidate, if they even let me Intimidate. And just make it rain. Okay, yeah, drop your stats. I'm cool with that. Does that put Milo in range of another close combat? It does. Wow. I'm going to try to recover Milotic and swap in Arcanine on the Garchomp slot. If I can get an Intimidate down on Tauros, then maybe I can live. Or if they target Garchomp here, then Milotic should be able to get the Recover off. It is Clear Amulet Tauros, okay. Oh, but it's Close Combat into Arcanine, I love that. Single target make it rain shouldn't be too bad. Um. If you go for Nasty Plot, that's okay, I guess. Could be worse. No, it's just to make it rain. Cool. Are you Specs? Who knows? It's not doing insane damage, but my Lotic is just super bulky and resists. I feel like Make It Rain there is kind of strange. It should have been a Nasty Plot if you had Nasty Plot. Yeah, I'm gonna go Chomp. That Tauros is still a massive threat. Last turn of Tailwind there. I'm gonna Scald Tauros. And Scale Shot into Tauros. Yep, there's close combat into Milo. I think we take a Make It Rain from there. Good, everyone needs to make it rain. And now it's my turn. Let's speed up this guard chop. Never mind, let's miss scale shot and lose the game off of it. <laughs> Ooh, Skull does a lot. No burn though, <laughs> come on! Uh, okay, uh, close combat plus make it rain. What can I do? <laughs> Missing that scale shot just cost me the game is what I do. <laughs> okay, if you CC into Milo, Garchomp might live make it rain. If you CC into Garchomp... Yeah, whichever one you close combat, the other one might live and take out Tauros. That's what I got. Aqua Jet into Milotic plus spread make it rain? Garchomp might take that. Yes, 4 HP! Garchomp, you would never miss a second time, right? I can count on you, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's why you don't run scale shot, Garchomp. <laughs> Dragon Claw is fine. Oh my goodness. Whew, okay. What's my strongest move? Half of uh, 140, 280, 140, 120. My strongest move is genuinely Steel Beam. That's funny. Stomping Tantrum. Not quite enough. Make it rain. Does nothing to my Golden Go because you're at minus a bajillion at this point. And as long as this connects, good game, Mr. Cretastic. Here we go. Love this move so much. Woo! Got the style on him. All right. GG's Mr. Cretastic. That was a rough game. Well played. Very well played. Also love the trainer card. Hello, William. That... Oh, that's Scraggy's level 50. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, that looks weird, but no. That is a Regulation H team, and one I should be 
fearful of. They've got some combos. Scraggy Luxray, uh, Male Indeedy with Armor Rouge, and Tyranitar Garchomp. That's a good combo. Okay, what do they have that can threaten Noivern Sylveon lead? Not much. Not much wants to take that combo, except maybe Armor Rouge with Wide Guard. Could be really scary. Armor Rouge with Wide Guard would be really, really scary. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, they've got two Intimidate Mons, so Milotic feels good. It also resists Fire and can Scald into that Tyranitar, Icy Wind for the Garchomp. Seems pretty decent. That's a defensive backbone. Expanding Force is kind of scary, but I don't know. Do I Would I rather have Arcanine, which can deal with Armor Rouge pretty well and intimidate the Sand Duo? Or something like Golden Go, which can resist Expanding Force? Or maybe my own Garchomp to counter their Sand. Oh, I don't have Sand Veil. I'm just a bulky Garchomp. Oh, and I'm going to burn Terra right away, too, I have to consider. So who's good without Terra? I think Arcanine will be fine. Arcanine Milotic in the back. I'm going to see how much Boom Bursting can do, because if they lead, like, Scraggy or Garchomp Tyranitar, they could be in a lot of trouble right away. That's a cool card. Shiny Diplin. Do they have some sort of weakness policy shenanigan? No. Doesn't look like it. Looks like they might just be going for Expanding Force. Um, hopefully I can get this off then. The Indeedy is Psychic Seed, that's good to see. I was worried it would be like Scarf and mess me up. They're both gonna take this hit pretty well, honestly. But I'm gonna Boom Burst. And I'm gonna Boom Burst. And you're gonna have to take it. Uh, I think Armor Rouge can live this. Indeedy, it'll be close, it depends on their investment. That's my guess. I do think Armor Rouge can take the double up though, which is pretty scary. But we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna send in the Sylveon. We're gonna click boom. Helping hand. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, we get the boom burst off at least. Decent damage into Armor Rouge. No damage into Indeedy. Yikes. At least we didn't get wide guarded. Ooh, there goes Indeedy. Nice. Good job, Sylveon. That was a crit. Would have preferred the crit on Armor Rouge, but alright. Yeah, Expanding Force is gonna wipe the board, right? Yeah. Welp, <laughs> we got our gimmick off. Uh, what can we say? Hopefully the damage dealt will carry us through. They do have a lot of Intimidate in the back, so my Lotic coming in here is great. Uh, I can't lock into extreme speed because of the psychic terrain. Or flare blitz because of the flash fire armor rouge. What's the worst thing they could have? Garchomp? And then they just expanding force to do huge damage to Milotic and like any throw any ground move at my Arcanine. If they're invested to be faster, that is. We do got the intimidate down. Uh, there's Tyranitar. I do fear it might be Garchomp in the back. But I like to see Tyranitar first. Okay, I'm happy to Rock Slide. And probably throw a Scald at Tyranitar. Biggest damage output. I don't think I need an Icy Wind against either of these. I feel like Arcanine should be fastest on the field right now. Double Connect Rock Slide, beautiful. Get out of here, Armor Rouge. No more expanding of forces. And here's Skull. Oh, we're faster than Tyranitar, that's big. Get a burn, please. No burn. Oh, they have Earthquake, that's bad. Oh, Arcanine eats that really well, though. Really, really well. There's Garchomp, that's what I'm worried about. Earthquake did absolutely nothing to my Milotic, though. 
Uh, I'm gonna not worry about Tyranitar at all. I'm gonna go Icy Wind, try to do damage to that Garchomp. And Arcanine's locked into Rock Slide. There's nothing Arcanine can do. Except click Rock Slide and hope they don't target me. There's a Terra. It's probably Flying Tyranitar. Oh, it's Garchomp carrying. Into ground. Oh, they're going for damage. This will hurt a lot more. Oh, we're faster! Oh, Tyranitar is gone. That's big. We crit the Tyranitar, it didn't matter. Can we get a flinch? That would be huge. But after an Icy Wind, my logic should be faster too then. Sand Tomb. Whoa, a critical Sand Tomb. That, that's a weird set, but I kind of get it. Goes up to 60 base power in, in Terra. Helps you against walls, and you're a slow, bulky guard champ anyway. But not clear amulet or cloak. cloak. Good. My logic should be faster now since Arcanine was faster. So I can hit you with a Scald Rock Slide combo. It's my logic. Yeah, my logic is definitely faster now. Let's Scald you and let's Rock Slide? Or should I recover Rock Slide? No, I'm gonna Scald. Scald should finish it. Yeah, especially from that range. We missed because of Sand Veil. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sand Tomb also misses. <laughs> the Milotic, though. Oh, boy. Okay, they clearly don't have Earthquake. I'm going to recover because I want to get out of this Sandstorm. Yeah, I'm going to click Recover on Milotic and just keep Rock Sliding because if the Rock Slides hit... Ooh, Garchomp's odds of moving aren't great. We know they're not Covert Cloak, so they have the flinch chance. Breaking Swipe. Crit on Melodic again, are you Scope Lens? Thank you for the competitive boost, I guess. Is Melodic gonna live the turn though, because of that crit? Yes, 3 HP. <laughs> They have to Breaking Swipe again. That shouldn't KO. Right? Last turn of Sand, we won't take Sand Chip. Yeah, I'm gonna recover again and Rock Slide. Rock Slide finally misses. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Why is this coming so close against Sand Tomb Garchomp? I'm terrified. There's Breaking Swipe, don't crit. Okay, my Lotic lives. We're good. And Sand should end. Getting rid of that Sand Veil shenanigans. Oh, we still take Sand Chip at the end, huh? Or were they, were they Smooth Rock? They're Smooth Rock Tyranitar! Come on! Alright, well I either hit the Scald or I don't. I don't hit the Scald! No! No! How can you do this to me? No. Everything was going so well. Oh. And if I had thrown that earlier and it, had, it would have just missed, then I would have lost the, er, earlier, so. GG. Okay, we've got... Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this even though it's regulation G. It looks like a mono ice team, almost. They've got Lapras, they've got Satitan, they've got Obama Snow, Frost Moth, Hatterene is not an Ice type, but it's white, and then Cali Ice. Did not want to see Cali Ice. They do have Wide Guard potentially on Frost Moth, which is terrifying. But Arcanine is really good. Um, they're going to try to set Trick Room, and I need to stop it. Can Boom Burst stop it? I don't think Boom Burst takes out Calyrex. I don't think the Boom Burst combo is enough, and then we just easily get swept. It's gonna have to be Arcanine. Arcanine can do big damage. They don't have much to stop that big damage either. All they could have is Wide Guard, and then I can just head smash something, and then Golden Go. 
These two hit them really, 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 really hard. Milotic is good just as a defensive tool. And then I could bring Sylveon, but I'm not going to be allowed to Boom Burst. I could bring Garchomp and just know that that's where I need to Terra. Steel Terra Garchomp could work pretty well as bait. I'm going to bring Sylveon. I'm bringing Sylveon because Garchomp, despite having the defensiveness, it's not going to do much damage. I'd rather just bring in Sylveon, not take hits well, and get one Hyper Beam off. I think that would get me further. Ooh, no trainer card, boo. No trainer card, and you're bringing Reg G. At least you're a Mono Ice team. They did bring their Wide Guard. So you know what? I'm not gonna let you get Trick Room. I'm gonna Flare Blitz into Hatterene. And I'm going to Shadow Ball into Hatterene. Or do I Steel Beam Rock Slide? Uh, could they be Sash Hatterene? That would make sense. So I want to attack it twice, and I don't want to use any spread moves. So I want to Flare Blitz. And Shadow Ball. And that combo will still work if they bring in Calyrex next. I do think it's going to be a Wide Guard here. Though they could really get me with something. Oh, it's Wide Guard, yes! We called that. We know what a Frost Moth is. Nice. Unfortunately, Ar my Arcanine is faster, so I'm gonna take all this recoil. They are sashed. Called it. They're not sashed. They just live that? Hatterene, what? You just live a Choice Band Flare Blitz for no reason? Yeah, that's why we crit the Shadow Ball. Yeah, unfortunately, I was saying uh, Arcanine's faster, so I have to take all that recoil. But it is what it is. Arcanine's just a faster Pokemon in general. Calyrex. All right, we have no choice but to do it again. If they have a defensive Terra that can handle this combo, they get Trick Room. Flare Blitz. Terra Steel's not going to help anybody because we are locked into these moves. Pedals canceled! <laughs> GG. <laughs> okay, that uh, that's not quite uh, Regulation H. Uh, Hisui Zork, Ursa Luna, uh, uh, Hydrapple, Rayquaza, Tyranitar, and Arceus. <laughs> oh, hi, Katie. Uh, Arceus is a little scary. But I think I'm just going to do the Boom Burst strat and see what happens, right? I think that's the way to do it. <laughs> and then, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Arcanine feels good here, too. Um, what's the biggest thing that could stop Sylveon? Uh, Arceus, I guess. My cat wants to knock my headphones onto the ground. Okay. Nope, not allowing that. And then, I don't know. Golden Go seems to hit everything, too. Milotic seems okay. I got Icy Wind and Scald. It's a lot of those. Um, I don't think there's a bad choice. I just, it depends on if this is just random Pokemon from someone's box or if they actually have a strategy here. Maybe they thought Arceus counted as a restricted and built for double restricted. Who knows? I don't know. Does Arceus get Trick Room? Because that could be scary. I'll just put Garchomp. It'll either work or it won't. We'll see. Uh, I guess I could have brought Golden Go so I can keep Boom Bursting with Noivern, but... Okay, cool, Garganackle. Alright, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, those names. Okay. We're, we're gonna Boom. I'm gonna go Boom here. Uh, I guess if they can E-Speed Oko Noivern, we're in trouble, but otherwise Boom Burst, Terra Ghost... Boom Burst. Let's do it. Because... Going Ghost on Sylveon is actually good here. We could avoid maybe an Extreme Speed or a Facade. Though I don't think a Facade would come out turn one. Uh, could be... 
We should be faster, unless either of them are Scarfed, or if the Rayquaza goes for E-Speed. So us Terrestrializing first makes sense. No Terra from their end. Here we go, doesn't affect Sylvia. One of them is a Zorak, cool. This one's a fairy type boom burst though. Boom! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Get out of here, both of you. Yeah, don't bring don't bring those dot gg those restricted Pokemons. Yeah, you're just gonna get boom bursted. <laughs> uh, now we know they have Ursaluna in the back. <laughs> yep, there he is. And what else do you got? Okay, that thing looks like a real name. That might be real. Tyranitar, you're weak to fairy. I'm happy to click it again. A nerve. I think got a nerve? Okay, so it's not gonna protect for Flame Orb. Go ahead and terrestrialize your T-Tar then, so you're not weak to this. But then, most of your Terra types will make you take more from the normal Boom Burst. Okay, you're probably... It's gonna, you're just gonna go down, right? Good damage on Ursaluna. I think it takes it. Tyranitar, if it's like a Salt Vest or something, might take this. Oh, they both take it. Oh, good, good lives. And a berry on Tyranitar, wow. Just very bulky, cool. Blizzard? Tyranitar with Blizzard? Why? Oh, Neuvern dodged. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, Sylveon goes down. Alright, Sylveon, you did the, the damage is done. I mean, what can you even do at this point? I've done too much damage. You got Boomburst took you and your restricted Pokemon down. Uh, Garchomp can Stomping Tantrum something, Arcanine can Flare Blitz something. I mean... I don't have an accurate way to take out both of them guaranteed. I'll just bring in Arcanine first and Flare Blitz the bear. The Intimidate might help, I don't know, it's a, it's a, it's a Blizzard Tyranitar which I will send a Draco Meteor at and just Flare Blitz their bear. And that should wrap things up. I, I'm assuming my Arcanine's faster than them. I, I'm not gonna even bother Tailwinding. If the Tyranitar is somehow really fast, I guess it could be faster? Here's the Draco Connect, which it still lives. Impressive. Flare Blitz definitely takes out the bear <laughs> with a critical hit. Oh, the Rocky Helmet, okay. Rocky Helmet, a nerf. Interesting set, never seen a set like that. And there's Blizzard, which Neuvern dodges and Arcanine dodges. Is Blizzard 50 accuracy in sand? Or is it just 70 still? Yeah, it's, it's Draco, Flare Blitz, we'll be fine. <laughs> we just keep dodging their Blizzards. What are you supposed to do? Uh, Terra, is this going to be fairy? No, it's ground. That's not going to help you at all. In fact, now a minus two Draco can probably take you because you don't get the special defense boost. Goodbye, Tyranitar. Wish Sylveon could have just swept, but Sylveon did great. Sylveon boom bursted multiple times. Got like two, two full KOs and some good damage on the rest. Well, uh, GG. Thank you for letting me click the buttons. And we are back from Boom Bursting. Thank you so much for showing up, Mr. Kurtastic. I did not expect to run into him on the casual ladder. But that's how the casual ladder works. You can run into anyone as long as you're playing at the same time. Uh, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing Sylveon use Boom Burst. Go ahead and take this rental code up in the corner. Try it yourself. Let me know. Come back to this video and comment if you, if you play this and it works out for you. Because it's super fun when it works out. Oh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.